So did you party too hard last night? Party too hard. Oh. I was in bed at 8.30. I was in bed at 9.30. Oh. Boy, that's a real party for our anniversary. Happy anniversary, honey. And plus one day. Plus one day. Plus part of a day. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So we have all this nervous energy. We're going to go move cows home. No nervous energy. We'll move cows home. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day. Nice day. Are you a parrot? Am I a parrot? <laughs> Not ready, girl and I get ready to go to the hills, help yes. bring cows in. Definitely. We're super excited. The sun hasn't come up yet. Ooh, but it looks beautiful. in the pack. All right. Gonna be a beautiful day for sorting. I'm walking down the highway to grab Dave's truck. He left it a ways down because there wasn't enough room in the driveway, I think. And uh, so they're back at the corral, started sorting. I left Corb taking some video of that. Cows are gonna miss this. I'm going to miss coming up here to see the cows. <laughs> not wind we're dealing with today it's excited cows sorry makes it noisy we left a couple of bulls out of there because five bulls in there is really not necessary mm -mm. kind of the back out of the way here I'm gonna see if I'm far enough out of the way that they don't notice me Right now, they're sorting the uh, calves from the cows. This corral that we use is just big enough to hold 100 pairs. You don't want it so big that they can run all over the place, but you also need room for the humans to um, work inside of there. Right now, uh, it's got a nice grass base but I suspect by the time we're done today that the uh, base on there will be reduced down to basically slippery mud
in the sky here and looking for calves that are left. Okay. Silly. You'll see your baby soon. And I don't see any from here. Oops. Somebody got a 2017 in here. So we tag our calves. First number on the tag is, well, nobody will stand still so I can show you. First number on the tag is the year that they're born. So these are all nines. They should be all nines. Because they were born this calving season. But you can see some tall bud in there. Uh, yeah, that's our seven. So that's okay. We'll sort her out. 27 years that I have been helping with the farm. Uh, as you saw, Glenn and I had our anniversary yesterday and it was 23 years married for us. So I've been around for a lot of seasons. I've been around for uh, most of my, well, more than half my life, for sure. And, oh, I see Glenn. Let's show you. Oh, yes. As long as he's not taking a pee or something. Oh, he says, don't touch the vents. Yes, because he put power on it. Mwah. Okay. He's trying to sort that cow out. <laughs> Good luck. Start trying to sort the cow out of the sardine box. Anyway. Snack time. What's Tanner got? Works. Tanner, you got a sandwich? Yummy. Grandpa made sandwich. Mm. <laughs> she's chewing on the fence. This one, she's chewing on the the loading chute. Hmm. Well, they're practicing to be bunnies. <laughs> setting his gates. He asked for 10 calves to start with. One bull going in this batch. They need 14. We're starting to lose them. This is going to be harder than sorting the calves, maybe. Who am I to talk? I'm standing up here on top of a giant snow pile watching this all happen. <laughs> They're looking for one more cow. See how the cows are making a circling pattern in the corral there? Uh, that's a really natural process for cattle. So when you're building corrals, you want to build them so that the cows can make that circling pattern and then have your sorting gate uh, down at the end, well, at one of the sides so that you can open it and then feed the cattle into there. Uh, 
that's a wrap. First load's full. There they go. Safe ride home, girls. Next liner coming in. Uh, the second liner, second driver is going to be coming back. Attention. So, the cows came home today and you didn't get to come. Do you feel bad about that? Oh, yeah, you just want to go see the cows. Where are the cows? Oh, the cows are over there. We're going to go see them right now. Yeah. Cows are all home now. This is what it looks like at home for them right now. This is barley stubble. And yes, there is actually quite a bit out here for them to eat. There's corners, there is fence lines, there's stuff that just the combine didn't get. There's even uh, green stuff coming there on the ground. I can only presume that's barley growing that went over the combine. And back there is where they came from. So yeah. You can see them for days now. Actually, that's not true. If they get stuck behind a little uh, hill or something, the whole herd would disappear. But basically, you can see them for days now. They're gonna stay close to the house. Here's the house. We're gonna keep them close to the house. Next weekend, we're having the vet out to do uh, preg testing on them. So he's gonna tell us, hopefully, that all our cows are bred, but I don't know. You just never know. We hope so, because they had five bulls with them this summer. That should be a thing. So that's the next video to look forward to. A uh, big preg testing day.